guys, it's Muriel again, and this is the finished look um, for a fall look. There's a little bit of contouring. I used MAC eyeshadows that you'll see in the video, which ones they are, and I'll put them in the sidebar. Did some contouring, did a pretty nude lip, and browns and golds uh, on the eye. Um, so if you're interested, keep watching. So I applied Smashbox. I applied Paint Pot in Bare Study with my finger. Um, I'm going to start with a gold color here from MAC that I have in my... Yeah, I'll just take out the pan here. And I'm just going to apply that with um, my, just like an all-over shadow brush, like this one. See that? Apply that all over the bottom. Not the bottom, but just up to the crease. I don't know about you, but when I think about fall, I think gold and bronze and brown and plum. Max bronze. You can see that bronze. And I am going to apply that to my crease. Had that in there. And this is from Target Medium Shadow Brush. And bring that in. And we have some fallout there. And you're going to use a fan brush like this one. And grab your face powder and some people like to wait to the end. I like grabbing it as I go. Because I might smush it in there. So, probably Target too. As you can see. And I'm going to grab another color. This is, I believe it's Cork. Sorry. Cork from MAC. I'm going to put that brush in there. Blow the excess off and use that to blend over the bronze color. Do you guys stretch out your eyes too when you do your makeup? I can't seem to do my makeup without stretching out my eyes. Here we go again. Blending up to have a less defined line of where each color starts and ends. Grabbing a smudger brush like this, I'm going to grab cork, torque again. I'm going to bring it underneath my eye. Once again, grabbing your fan brush. Thinning off the excess. Alright, back to my other camera. Okay. Next, what I did before my camera stopped recording, I'm a little bit frustrated, as a highlight from Neutral Sense Coastal... Neutral... Coastal Sense Neutral Palette, I applied this white as a highlight and inside here with a small, small brush from Coastal Scents, grabbing Truffle with a skinny angle eyeliner brush, dabbing it in there. I already did my line here, but I'll just show you. Just go and slide it across. Going also on the bottom. Outside of the bottom. Outer outside. Outer bottom of your eye. I'm having trouble speaking today. Smudge your brush again, like small one like this. And just slightly blend that in. What I like to do first is add my blush, and I'm using Max Copper Tone Blush with Max 120. I can't see it, 128 brush. I really don't know. Smiling like this, you're gonna add this to the apples of your cheek, right where you're smiling, and take it up. And stay smiling the whole time because you want to keep getting it in the right spots. 
I'm dabbing it in there again, smiling on the other side and taking it up. And I always add some here on the nose and blend it down. Next you want to do um, your bronzer slash contour. And this is an angled brush. And this is also Sheila's shade number two bronzing powder. And I'm going to blow off the excess and go underneath where we just added that blush. Blend down. And go up into the hairline. Grabbing more now on the other side. And you want to like suck in. And then go on the sides of the nose. And bring that up into the hairline and underneath here. Just spread it up after that. This is going to give the illusion of a slimmer, defined face. Grabbing the illuminating powder, and this is the other side. I think this is uh, Beauty of Essence CVS, and the smaller side of the blush brush. Dabbing it in there. I'm going to go on top of my cheeks. Just dab it in. You can go straight up and down the nose. Next we're going to do our eyelashes. I always do the eyelashes last, I'm not sure why. I'm going to curl them really quick. Oh, we still got to do, we got to do the lips. Grabbing uh, Carbon Black Vol Voluminous by L'Oreal. I am going to do a nude lip, so what I'm going to do is grab my face powder, and I learned this from my counter lady and just put the powder all over your lips and look you've got a perfect nude lip just kidding and now start doing your lip liner and this is max um, subculture Lining around the full lip, I'm gonna use Max um, Shy Girl lipstick. So pretty, and it's a cream sheen. All my Mac lipsticks are cream sheen for some reason. I love this color. And that completes this look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and for sending me this request for a fall look. I appreciate it. Um, see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.